It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Famous 280 million year fossil is just paint. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, goodness. Someone just tried to pull a one-two magoo. I have to see this. Someone's, you know, when you got the painted rock and you're trying to see if you could, you know, pawn it off as a real fossil to get the big bucks from the museum. <laughs> That's a museum piece right there. It's a real fossil. Sorry. Oh, no, it's a watercolor. You didn't think about first applying water to it? <laughs> see, we could just, you know, dilute the paint. No, guys, it's a fossil. We got to keep it inside the container. 84 years it's been sitting in a container. They're looking at it through glass. Guys, look at the fossil. <laughs> it's paint. You guys got totally duped. Oh, goodness. A 280 million year fossil thought to be a well preserved specimen of an ancient reptile is largely a forgery. <laughs> it was done by, um, oh, I couldn't think of his name in time. You know, it's a morning show, guys. <laughs> Apparently, they're saying it was done by Banksy. That's who I was trying to reach for, Banksy. Oh, goodness. Ba Banksy's the forger of all forgers. He's doing fossils now. The fossil initially discovered in the Italian Alps in 1931. I'm not even joking when I said 84 years. Be behind glass. 84 years in it. Oh, look at that fossil. Guys, look. It's a well-preserved ancient reptile. This has got to be at least 30 or 40 million years old. I'm sorry, 37 years old? Banksy's grandfather did this one, you know? He's the one who gave Banksy all the, you know, I would say the spirit, the enthusiasm to bring it to 2024, you know? Anyway, let's uh, see what we have here. The scientific name of it was Tridentinosaurus antiquus. It's really just a big freaking hunk of rock that someone painted with like probably, I'm, I'm just imagining they used watercolors. I'm just saying, 1880s. It was found in 1931. It was created in 1930. Well, we don't know. We're just still trying to figure it out. Scientists thought the, the dark, deep outline of the lizard-like body encased in the rock was skin and soft tissue. They considered the fossil to be a, like a puzzle piece for understanding early reptile evolution. <laughs> Their complete world has been shattered. Every theory that they've ever come up with is based on this one reptile. <sighs> Guys, they have to go back to the drawing board now because like what they have, this, it's not real. It's not what, ha like all the books lies, you know, based on Tridentifertabrogramenesis, you know. <sighs> the fossil appeared in a book and article citations over the decades. Guys, it's just, Revealing my jokes as truth. Unreal. But no one ever studied it in detail. They just wrote tons of books on it. And how evolution took place based on this rock that was painted by Banksy's grandparents. I think the grandmother helped as well with the tale. You know, guys, it's housed in the collections at the University of Padua's Museum in Nature and Humankind in Italy. Guys, it's housed in the collections. Which means when you go there and you're walking through the University of Padua's Museum of Nature and Humankind and you're just kind of like, hmm, I wonder what that is. I don't know. Let me look through a freaking huge piece of plate glass at that reptile tydrantic of thermonesis. No. Painted rock. A new detailed analysis revealed that the dark color of the fossil isn't preserved genetic material. It's just black paint covering a couple of bones and carved rock. The researchers behind the study reported their findings on February 15th, uh, 93 years after they found this thing, and they've been observing it and creating content off of it, by the way. The body outline of the fossil specimen. I gotta find the guy who created his entire thesis on this thing. <laughs> you know? Like, I wanna know the guy who was like, I'm gonna do a thesis on Tridentosaurus Antiquus because it's a real thing. And, like, now he's got it, he loses his college credits, right? We got to go retroactively. His thesis was based on a lie, you know, painted rock. 
Oh, goodness. You know, Poby, here we go. We got someone who actually did this, right? Dr. Valentina Rossi. Pro, she's a postdoctoral researcher in paleobiology, University of College Cork in Ireland, guys. I did my study. No, I'm just kidding. So without the use of diagnostic techniques, it would be impossible to identify the dark colored material properly. It's paint. It's paint. The revelation highlights the fresh knowledge that could be reaped from re-examining old, previously studied fossil specimens in museum collections using the latest technique. How many other pieces out there are just paint? Oh my goodness. Guys, this is comedy right here in itself. Where is the world? Share this feed because what in the freaking heck? Oh my goodness. Imagine you're going from just museum gallery to gallery and you start really getting in there with the microscope and you're looking at these fossils like never before. They allow you to take them from behind the plate glass window so you can get in there. You're microscoping right on top of this rock or whatever the freaking heck that they're displaying for the last 800 years as like an antique. You find out that it was painted by Banksy's daughter. You know, she did it. And you just got it as a, you know, donation last year. Just created two years ago. Unveiling a forgery, reptiles first appeared between the Carboniferous and Permian eras. About 310 to 200, 320 million years ago, guys. This is a long time ago. But understanding the evolution of these scaly vertebrae depend on the paleontologists on Earth, the record, the fossil record. The diversity of the earliest reptilian animals is still a you know, knowledge gap researchers are trying to fill. And it doesn't help when people are creating forgeries, you know, like a reptile that's painted. Guys, look at this rock I, I found. It's a real fossil. I'm thinking you give me a couple hundred K, you know? You take the fossil, you put it behind a piece of glass so no one can even touch it or look at it really close. They can't really inspect it. Keep it there for a couple hundred years, you know? You're good. Like the amount of information created in the Library of Congress. <sighs> Based on Tritantica Thesipis. You know? It's immense. It's immense. And remember Gilbert John Jukis, that guy, he created his whole thesis. <laughs> Hold on. I think we have to make a phone call. You Cork. Hi, yes. Is this um, the University College Cork in Ireland? Yes, it is. <laughs> How may we help you today? Yes. This is Mark Inspires. I'm oh calling live on the air. We have a conversation to have with you about. Uh, is this really Mark Inspires? I'm a I'm huge sorry? fan. <laughs> oh, Helga. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm, I, I appreciate that you're a huge fan of the show. But listen, I'm here. We're trying to get to the bottom of it. You know, the forgeries. You know, you had a student there, Gilbert Nishnivix. Yes, Gilbert Chikslavix. Oh, I'm sorry, Chikslavix. Yeah, he was, you remember him. Oh, of you course. You remember he had that whole postdoctorate that he did on, on hold on, I just have to get the, the scientific name. Uh, he did a postdoctorate on the Tridentinosaurus Antiquus. Do you remember this one? Oh my gosh, yes. He's a local <laughs> Hell celebrity. Of course you do. He was written up in the local paper. Uh, listen, I need you to understand something about this one, Helga. Okay. What's that? It's all a lie. A lie? <laughs> yeah. Go check Are it out. Are you Pull it up. We're live right now. I'll show you. Hold on. A rock? Let me show you. Yeah. Do you see that? Yes. I remember it from the paper. <laughs> yeah. It's paint. Paint. It's paint, Helga. No. You guys are there. You got like the ticker tape parade. We get You're that. all coming out there to celebrate Gilbert Tikotovic as he's there and he's celebrating his victory with his fossil. Yeah, no, we celebrate. Of Tridentinosaurus Navis 6. What, what the hell is it called again? Helga, you. Yeah, that's right. Tridentinosaurus Antiquus. I think you nailed it. <laughs> yeah, no, Helga. Look, I know you're going to do what you need to do there. And what I mean by that is discredit Gilbert. Trick Navix for all of his lies. You know, he thieved the university out of an education. <laughs> you know, he, he lied to you guys, created content. You guys are now the ones that are referenced, you know, in all Tridentinosaurus Antiquus documentation now. And, uh, you know, I just think that's just like a mar that's a stain on your record. 
That is true. <laughs> yeah, Elga. Call. See you in the no, chat. No, I know. I'll see you in the chat. And if there's another Gilbert out there who wrote his entire thesis on Tridentinosaurus antiquus, the painted fossil on the screen next to me here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to also take them down. Yeah. Now we have to do that. You're going after everybody. You know, it's important, Helga, you know, that we, we, keep, we take people to task when they're out there thieving the American people, the Irish people, the Cork University people. You know, I'm sure Professor, you know, Winston McGillicuddy is really taken aback with this one. Yeah, McGillicuddy is upset. <laughs> yeah, you just tell McGillicuddy that it's in the news, it's on the Mark Inspire show, therefore, it's happening in real time. Oh, this is a breaking story? Yeah, you know it, there's no script, of course. Helga, look, it's been a pleasure. And I'm, I'm, I really appreciate knowing that you, you tune into the show from Ireland. Love you know, it. we're talking about having a world map. Ooh, a Mark really? Inspires world map. So when people are tuning in from like Chattanooga, Tennessee, they could put a pin on that map. And be like, I'm inspiring the world with some positivity here in Chattanooga. Is that where the choo-choo trains are? Yeah, that's where the choo-choo's from, Helga. Didn't they make a song about it? Yeah, the Chattanooga choo-choo. You remember? Helga, you know, I don't know what they are playing over there in Ireland. Celtic music or whatever. I'm here. I'm in Connecticut. With Chattanooga, the choo-choo. It's a, it's a big deal here in the United States. Okay. I'm sure it is. Yeah, but just make sure you tell McGillicuddy about the fossil. Will do. Yeah, it's paint. I still can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, sorry to bust your bubble. I would call the local paper, too, since they did the ticker take for Gilbert, you know, for writing this piece and, you know, bringing so much attention to Quirk University on the subject. They may want to do a follow-up or a retraction. <laughs> Gilbert's a piece of garbage. Gilbert wrote us down a, li a river that we can't come back from now. It's like a rushing river and we're not salmon. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. You get it, Helga. I do. Yeah. Okay, see you in the chat. Okay, see Thanks, you, Thanks, Helga. You rock. No, you rock. No, Helga, you rock. <laughs> no, you rock, Mark. Okay, Helga. We both rock. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Yep, paint. That's right. Uh, Helga, she's, got, she's a laugh. Helga is a laugh, I got to say. Every time I get Helga on the line, this is the first time I had Helga on the line, but every time. Seems like we reach people who are interested and in tuning into the show on a daily basis. They're spreading the positivity and the local comedy news, or sometimes not local. It's mostly not local. You know, this fossil is not local. Banksy, he's in England doing these things, I think, right? I don't think Banksy is relocated yet. He's still in England. The Banksy fossil. It was auctioned off at Sotheby's. I don't know if you guys know that. They always wait until the room is full before they start the auction, especially on a Banksy. Guys, we have so many stories to get to. I don't know any of them yet because this is a live Scroll the News show. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door, leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.